But how familiar are you with drug use at music festivals? I'd say I'm somewhat familiar. I personally have never tried anything, but I do know friends who have. Have you had to deal with any drug-related emergencies at concerts or music festivals before, whether firsthand or secondhand? I know someone who did have an incident where it was their first time trying it, and they had to go to the hospital because they had a bad reaction. Um, okay. But other than that, no. And do you believe that there's anything that anyone could have done to prevent this from happening, like more security, like police presence, or like educational services? Um, I believe just like educational services, because regardless, people are going to do it, whether you tell them not to or not. So, so I feel like it's just better to provide awareness, because I know this yeah. person wouldn't normally do it. I agree. So, so like, like, own, yeah, like, like if they like happen. know like what's in their stuff yeah. and like the like what could happen, the consequences from taking it. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you think that if these services were available at the time of your friend's incident when she had to go to the hospital, do you think that the situation could have gone differently, slightly better, slightly worse? I think it would have gone a lot better um, because it's obviously taking a preventative measure in order to help people or prevent those type of bad situations from happening in the first place. With that, do you believe that more music festivals should start implementing these drug checking and educational services? I mean, not in a way that's going to like wrap people out, but yeah, I mean, because yeah. they're going to do it or not. and yeah. More for I like mean, safety measures. Yeah, it's for safety and educational awareness purposes and stuff. All right, well, thank you, You're Morgan. <laughs> Cut. Cut.